So the number one goal of the mass notification system is to get the correct and most precise information to staff, students, and guests about the emergency that's at hand. We've seen in the past how problematic this is. Past incidences happen on schools' property, ringing bells, uh, trying to get paging systems, knowing where to page and things like that have been very problematic. The mass notification system automates this and has already been defined with pre-recorded information, pre-recorded notification capabilities, and this gets the information in the hands of the people who are at most risk as quickly as possible. So our case study is going to take a look at what Alvord ISD is doing. They are implementing offensive response to any emergency throughout their district. By getting the correct information as quickly as possible to their internal and external support services, they can obviously make their district a safer place. By leveraging their data network, this gives them the ability to scale not only budgetary, but also in security needs that other areas may have priority over others. The first step that the district did was deploy panic buttons throughout its environment. Panic buttons are pre-configured devices that are providing instant automation for making emergency calls, making overhead pages, sending emails, sending text alerts. So panic buttons alleviate the issue of having a stressful decision to be made. You can press your panic button, the panic buttons are color coded, and you can create your own policies and procedures internally to your environment. The panic buttons are easily configured and have the ability to do a great deal of automation for you during an emergency situation. In addition to the panic buttons, you can also deploy network strobes that can connect via PoE on your network. These are great for an addition when a panic button is pressed, the strobes will play the appropriate color. This gives you the ability to grow your policies and procedures as well. And also, they provide a simple solution for notification if there's no audio in a certain areas throughout your district. You can have one to an infinite number and scale these as your budget and needs grow. The second level of tiered security that Albert has implemented is monitoring all their external doors. Most criminal activity that happens at the district usually comes in the form of someone letting someone in or someone finding an external door that's not being monitored. Now Albert can be notified instantly if any of his external doors have been opened via an SMS text message, an email, a call to an experience extension phone that's in its proximity, or even an overhead page with a strobe being flashed to get someone's attention. Alvord now has the capability of knowing precisely what the status of what their doors are 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Attention, attention. This external door is not secure. Please close the doors to the building. In addition to sending that page to an overhead speaker, we also have the ability, if we can integrate into your phone system, we can also dial extensions that are close in proximity to the external door. And you can have as many of these as you want. Uh, it's just depending on the configuration you're looking to desire for your environment. Attention, attention. This external door is not secure. Please close the doors to the building. The third level of integration for their security at Alvord was their digital signage. When a panic button was pushed, we have the ability to have the digital signage immediately stop what it's doing and display the emergency notification and the information that we would like to get to once again staff, students, and guests in the district. And here's an example of one of Alvord's digital signages in one of their hallways. 
The information will be interrupted here after a panic button has been pressed and the appropriate message that you want to display can be configured to provide information for the uh, student staff and guests on what the actual emergency is and the actual actions you want them to follow based off each individual emergency. Alvord's last step was integrating their phone system to leverage the communication capabilities into a dynamic, actionable device to provide instant notification to any location, any support services it can connect to. They will be able to call any internal extension or external number, and that includes 911. They can also play pre-recorded messages to any internal or external number, including 911. And remember, all the recorded messages can be customized for your environment and for each individual message in emergency. Overhead paging and paging over extensions are also included by integrating into their phone system. And monitoring of the phone system as well by the mass notification system gives them the ability to make sure that the telephone system is always able and enabled to provide the actions it has been configured for. So by adding their telephone system, Alvord ISE has inc increased their security practices and accelerated response times dramatically once again to make their school district more safe. If an issue arises where no one can get to a panic button, whether it's one of the fixed buttons on the wall or a teacher's lanyard, if anyone dials 911, we can have the phone system reach back out to the mass notification and process the notification capabilities that are defined for that. So it gives them the ability for the phone system to also have what we call a touchless capability just in case there's any reason why panic buttons cannot be reached. Your mass notification system will be monitored in three levels. The first level will be the mass notification system to all the input devices, strobes, panic buttons, etc. The second level will be from the mass notification system to your phone system. That stream or API socket will be monitored all the time as well to make sure the communications are available when you need them. And last but not least, your system on site will be managed and monitored by our cloud server to ensure that the system is up and ready and all three areas are ready for any type of emergency you may need to do any kind of notification. Any loss of communication at any of these levels will immediately within five minutes respond with an email and text alert to let you know that there's problem with the system and then you can reach out to our tech support people but nine times out of ten we'll know before you will. Once again, in conclusion, the EnviroTrack mass notification system is designed to get the most precise and correct information and as quickly as possible that information to the people that are around or being affected by the emergency situation in their proximity. No decision has to be made. Everything will be pre-configured and executed after the simple push of a panic button. Once again, we'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this and learn more about the EnviroTrack mass notification system. If you have any more questions or comments, please feel free to reach out and contact us. We'd love to hear from you. Once again, my name is Steve Baker, and I appreciate your time. Thanks again, and have a great day.